coming from a background like mine, um, I didn't always kind of feel like I would fit in um, that naturally. So I left care and wanted to come to uni. Um, I sort of panicked and took a maths degree and then I had some quite challenging personal stuff going on so I left for a year to kind of work that out and then I had a lot of support to come back. Being in the care state can put in so many kind of extra barriers for us but I feel like the uni have done a lot of work to kind of understand that and put other supports in place um, and ultimately like we're just as smart as everyone else. If I can do it, which I have, oh my god I've done it, um, anyone can. I work for a charity for children who have been in care um, called Who Cares Scotland and I was also working for the Scottish Government so I kind of realised that a maths degree wasn't actually what I wanted to be doing with my life um, so I changed to a social and public policy degree which I've really enjoyed since. In February 2019 I got diagnosed with stage 1 cervical cancer which was like a massive shock like I was only 21 I just didn't tell anyone for ages um, I just kind of tried to batter on one day at a time and I did quite well until Covid came along. I got to the end of the term and I hadn't done anything for a couple of my courses um, and I really thought okay I've used up all my chances and I don't know what to do now but I got in touch with my advisor, I got in touch with the care lever support coordinator and I told them what had happened and they worked really hard to help me and I'm sorted, I've got all my credits, I've got good grades and I'm going to graduate. So there is loads of support there for you and you can do it, you don't need to have this perfect life in the background with perfect parents. I am cancer free at the moment which is really great, um, I just get regular checks. Um, I am still working with Who Cares Scotland, I can't believe I'm saying it but I'm, I'm probably going to stay and do a masters 